welcome again to today's class. In today's class, we want to discuss experiment on application of moments. Yes. So it has this objective to determine the mass and density of a metal room using the principle of moment. Apparatus, mass, metal room, knife edge, calorie metal filled with water and vernier caliper. Now, look at the sketch of the diagram. Look at the procedure. The procedure says, place the knife edge at 5.0 cm from the center of gravity you obtained initially. That means, first thing you have to do is to get your metal room, keep it on a knife edge, and note your word, center of gravity. Please note that the center of gravity has range. And so the range could be between 48 to what 52 cm, depending on the meter rule you are using. Are you getting it? 48 to 52 cm. So first thing you do is to get your center of gravity. Once you get it, you note it. That is one. Then the mass M provided at the other side of the knife edge. So when you get your center of gravity, if your center of gravity is 50, that means the meter rule balance at 50 dots at the 50. That means here will be 50, this center will be 50. And you now measure from 50 to this point. That will be your five. The place you now put your knife edge again will be five cm. That the distance from this center of gravity to the point you place your knife edge is five cm. So that means if you place it here to be five cm, the remaining side will be what? 45 cm. That means from here, knife edge to the end is 45 cm. Now, as you place your mass at the end of the meter room, as you hang your mass at the end of the meter room, it will not balance. You are the one to now be shifting that mass you hang here. You have to be shifting it, shifting it till it keeps this meter room at equilibrium. It keeps it balanced without shaking anymore. So that is what they mean by adjust the position of the mass M while maintaining the position of the knife edge until you obtain a new balance point. Record the distance between the CG. Record the distance between the CG and knife edge as D1. D1, that is from 50 to this knife edge as D1, that is 5, is constant. And the distance between the knife edge and the mass M, the knife edge and the new position of that mass M that make it to be balanced. You note it as your D2. And so, you repeat the procedure for D1 equal to 7.5, 10.0, 12.5. That is what you have here. That means this your D1 will be constant. Then, also, Repeat the entire experiment with the mass M completely immersed in water. When we are now immersing it in water, that is about this second diagram. That means we have to talk about density of thrust and all our view while discussing this part. And record the corresponding distance as D3. Okay. Now see what we do. From the principle of moment of forces, we noted that CG, that center of gravity, simply means the point at which the weight of that metal rule will act. The point at which the weight of the metal rule will act. Now, this metal rule that is 100 cm, mass of a metal rule, mass of 100 centimeter rule, falls between 95 to what? 105 gram. Mass of 100 centimeter rule falls between 95 to 105 gram, depending on how light, how heavy, how stiff, 
how flexible that metal rod is. Are you getting it? Okay. Having noted this, having noted this, if we are going by this now, from the rule of moment, we will say that the weight of this metal rule, we will take it in terms of mass. That means weight divided by G is mass, right? We'll call here to be, we are taking here to be 100 gram. 100 gram. If we are taking here to be 100 gram, that means it is accurate. Okay, because we, let's, let's assume that it's not 100 gram. Let's take 98 gram. Let's say that the weight of this, the mass of this metal rule, that 100 metal rule is 98, because we say it's ranging between 95 to what? 105 gram. And so, if here is 98 gram, and the distance between here and here is 5. Now, this distance, we don't know it, but the mass we hang on it is 100 gram. Where is it? The mass of the steel. Here is 100 watt gram. We call it mass of the steel. Because the mass we use in the physics lab, most time is in a steel form. In a steel form. Something like this is in a steel form. Still. Okay? And so, we now say, whatever is the position of this here, whether it is at the end or at the before the end, whatever is the position of this, the truth is that this mass cannot come to this side. This mass cannot come to this side to keep this body at equilibrium. That is just the truth. So, whichever part, whichever side it hang, will note it as our D2. And so that will take you to the formula that D2 is equals to what? D2 is equals to 98 times D1 all over the mass of the steel. Mass of the steel. So we have given several uh, values for D1. All we need to do is that we put it here. 98 times what? 5. All over 100. We we'll use it to get here. We we'll also do it likewise. 98 times 7.5. All over 100. We we'll do the one on 7.5. We'll do it again. 98 times what? 10 all over 100 we'll get this 10 on we we'll also say 98 times what 12.5 all over 100 we we'll get this 12.5 on 98 times 15 all over 100 we we'll get this 15 on you get it then we we'll press it in our calculator 98 times 5 Divided by 100, that is 4.9. This one will give us 4.9. We'll write 4.90. 98 times 7.5. Divided by 100. 7.4. 7.40 approximately so we are approximating it to one decimal place because the meter room the distance you have to get here can only be in one decimal place it shouldn't be in two decimal place either it is as a whole number or it is in one decimal place because the reading accuracy of a meter room is one decimal place that is 0 0.1 cm are you getting it okay this one, 98 times 7.5. Okay, 98 times 10 divided by 100. 9.8. We have it as 9.8. Okay, and so we now say 98 times 12.5.
divided by 100. 12.3 98 times 15 divided by 100 14.7 we have gotten our d2 the table for d2 okay using this so this is about your d2 the first d2 the second d2 the third d2 the fourth D2 and the fifth D2. Now, how do we get our D3? How do we get our D3? The D3 make use of what? You immersing that mass in water. And there are a lot of things we need to consider here. One, relative density, density, up thrust, and all have you. And so first thing we will check is relative density. Relative density of the steel is equal to mass of steel, mass of steel in air all over mass of equal volume of water. Or all over, all over mass of water displaced. 